Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews. I am going to give my political opinion, because I was asked to by a few friends, about the specific topic of secession. Well, secession. <clears throat> to remove oneself from their nation. To become one's own sovereignty apart from one that they were already connected to. You are separating yourself from another. Seceding. Well, let's look at what that involves nowadays. To become one's own sovereignty, you would have to give up all your federal funding. All of the current, or all of the government or federal uh resources would have to pull out of your con or would have to pull out of your sovereignty you would have to let go of the citizenry that did not agree with your secession and the federal government of the country you're seceding from would say because those are our citizens we will come in and we will assist them in leaving before we accept your sovereignty and here's another thing that would happen if you are an, in the United States, if you are, say, Oklahoma, where you do not border a foreign country, and you are surrounded by the rest of the United States, well, your state or your sovereignty would not last more than a year. Now, if you were a state like Texas or California or New York or any other state that borders a country like Canada or Mexico well then you would have a little bit better chance however you would have to create your own federal system of mail you would have to or to handle parcels and whatnot you would have to create your own economic structure that does not rely on the United States. Because the United States government would most likely be very sour with your decision to leave them. In fact, they could possibly even say, we do not accept your petition to secede. They could go full tyrant and do that. And they could then impose a complete economic blockade around your state or your new sovereignty as it were the United States could choke you off completely and stop you from receiving foreign aid if you are in or with or if you are have to operate with in their own boundaries a state like Oklahoma is not connected to any foreign nation so no foreign nation can move from border to border in order to trade with them. The U.S. wouldn't or doesn't have to allow it. The U.S. doesn't have to allow any foreign trade to your nation if it means crossing their borders. This is a very dangerous thought, folks. The last time there was a secession, a civil war happened. It wasn't just because of slavery, it was because of other issues as well. And then they started saying, no more trading this, no more doing that. You cannot cross our borders. There's no neutrality here. And it led to a war. A war that left the country scarred. And then it took years to recover from that war. There was still tensions that ran high. They even still run high till this day. To this day. Secession is never an answer. There is no victory in it. There is no success in it. Unless you are a border state like Texas. Now, if Texas was to pre-plan this for like five to ten years, that would mean betraying the U.S. government by all federal standard. You are allying yourself with foreign nations to, so that you would be able to receive foreign aid if needed. To set up your government. Well, while you are doing this, you are still part of the United States. 
because if you were to cede or to secede today and then try negotiating with foreign countries, it would take a while even then. Your, or your economy would struggle and you'd be choked off. You would have to literally commit treason in order to secede successfully and have any sort of economic balance. This is all my opinion, folks. Because, believe me, the United States that you just seceded from would be very vengeful. And they would want you to be choked off so that they could reabsorb your land. And then there would be harsh punishments for those who accepted the secession who went along with it. You would be seen as traitors. You would be seen as people who are no longer citizens of the United States. You'd have to reapply for citizenry. You would have, or it would cause such a problem within the federal government because this is an unprecedented event with a government this complex. How our laws have evolved over the centuries. It's now unprecedented. There was a secession, sure, back in the 1800s when there weren't specific laws pertaining to citizenry and whatnot. They weren't as complicated as they are now. This is why secession is never an answer. If you do not like your government, you would have to petition your government to shut down, and you would need the majority of people to do it. And then you would have to show a display of force to let the government know, yeah, we aren't going to stand with you anymore. It would involve treason. You would have to stand against the United States government. That is why I oppose secession, because it would cost so many lives. People would die. Those of you who are saying, I don't oppose secession and whatnot, you haven't thought it through. It literally involves a war if you are inside of the borders of the United States and not connected to a foreign border. And even then, it might still even involve a war. Those of you who think secession is a good idea, honestly, I don't think you have thought it through. And if you have, you would come to the same conclusions I have. It would involve treason. It would involve warfare. And it would involve a lot of people, including children, dying. Do you want that? Do you? There's a chance you might die. There's a chance your kids might die. There's a chance your elders might die. Do you really want to risk it? Now ask yourselves that. Because war is ugly. It's destructive. It's dangerous. There's no winners in war. None. And right now, with the way our country is currently, as of 2022, June 27th, well, secession is extremely dangerous now. I don't think anybody who wants a secession has thought it through completely of what it entails, what it involves, and what or and how it would affect them and everything. All your 401ks and your plans that are part of the federal government, gone. You are essentially giving up everything to become a part of a fledgling new nation. Do you really think you can handle it? Those are my thoughts, folks. Uh, thank you for those who requested this video. I gave you my honest thoughts, my brutal thoughts. This is what would happen, it, in my opinion. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in, folks. 
You all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. What do you think would secession would involve? This has been Orange Hat Reviews giving his political opinion. Stay humble, and God bless America.